right, today we're going to replace this baseboard radiator cover. As you can see it's rusty and pretty ugly. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down my drop cloth so that we don't damage anything, damage the floor. Then we're going to remove this cover and these parts here are riveted on so we're going to remove the rivets. Most radiator covers are not riveted on but this being a commercial building they are riveted on for tamper proof. Voila! Done. Now I'm removing the damper. Now we're ready to install. We measured our heater at 106 and a half. So we're going to have to do two pieces. Therefore we'll have a coupler in the middle. We're going to have one at five feet, which is 60 inches, which will make the other one 46 and a half minus a half inch to give us a little wiggle room. The one we're going to cut this one at 46 inches. test fit it, make sure it fits well, and then we're going to do our final fitting. Perfect, we have about a half inch gap, that'll give us a little room, and our end caps will fit on the end and take up the space. We're also going to try a, what's called a zero clearance end, or a faux end. It's just got a side, we can just slide it right out to the wall, it'll make a real nice fit. So now I've brought the two pieces together and I'm going to put the coupler on. The coupler slides up underneath, comes up here, snaps on, and that's it. 